This is a prayer and it's simple. Hold me in your arms tonight. Keep me protected from the danger outside. Cause I need you, Jesus, to love me so right. Keep me protected. Love me tonight. Let me say it like this. I had some friends to walk away. The very ones that had promised that they'd always stay. But they only held on till things got tired. This is how 
course, I'm speaking on behalf of Livingston Haynes, elders. So, y'all elders, man. You may know one. Amen. Cumbia. She was my baby. She was destined to sing. I called her Creepy Crawl because she would be crawling, trying to get to me so I could pick her up. And she would be singing, crying. So I said, hey, well, my Creepy Crawl, I'm coming. Uncle Daddy's going to get you. She came from a family that was on the North End that a lot of people knew. And this was before even Jackson 5. We had the Hill 5. <laughs> and <laughs> it was a singing family. So she was destined to sing her mom. And now she had vocalists. So, um, us all being in church together. We went to church every Sunday. We all sung in the choir. And I always knew that she was always destined for greatness with her legacy that she leaves behind was the foundation for sorrow. All right, she just told me that to say Sarcoidosis. Okay. Um, her legacy, she's going to always be right here with us when I think about her smile, when I think about her singing to me. Um, when I saw her in the hospital, I saw two of <laughs> And I'm growing stronger with every step I take. It's plain to see you're teaching me. Grow in my faith. I'm growing stronger in a world full of hate. Lord, it's so cruel. Lord, if they only knew, you could make them brand new. Turn the mic away, for I long to hear you say, Well done on that glorious day. But I'm growing stronger with every step I take. It's funny to see you teaching me to increase. My faith, I'm growing stronger. Sometimes, you know, my dad was a pastor in a small storefront church, 
we were in the choir. So as soon as she could sing with us, she was there. So she did that at a very young, young age. I want to throw on this. Three things we know for sure. We be on love her family. As you can see. Just by In town, out of town. Second of all, we know that she loved music. Start singing as soon as she could. Anytime we dragged her, you know, along with her, I know I did, um, and taking her to the function that I was supposed to sing at. And I was like, hey, I would, I would teach her a song in the car and then have her sing it with me, and then she went beyond. The third thing we know. She loved the Lord. Yes. No rain or come to shine, that song always, the Lord was with her. They didn't give her the amount of time that she actually was here. They gave her 10 years. And 24, she left.
Stanley Norwood, maybe about a month or so ago. And she was sitting there, she was, had the little mask on. She took it off, went to talk, went to singing. And I'm like, we feel you want to put your mask on? <laughs> You see this, when it, when, it, when it go down so long, then, then, then that means I need to put it on. And I was looking at it, I said, it's below 92 now. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and when I left, I told uh, uh, Pastor Moore, I said, I don't sense death at all. Come on. I, I, I've never had that happen. And she went to send in telling me all she was going to do and talking about what the Lord was going to do it and God is up to something and just kept going up. I, I came back just as baffled. I said, man, they said she about gold. They take her to the hospital. That girl ain't going to go. But that's how close we should walk with God. It is a seamless transition. Seamless. Ain't nobody screaming and grabbing sheets. It's cold. But a seamless transition. When um, I had no chair, uh, when she was at Grace, but I didn't know who you And when I met her, I said, nah. You're not Hawaiian, so where you get a name like Quinky? <laughs> but when I, I heard her sing, and you know, I, I, I grew up with singers, but she had a very unique voice. And uh, she enjoyed singing. She was unashamed of singing. She, she didn't have a problem. The nurses would hear her singing and come in. And I was just, me, I'm, you know, I don't fall here easily unless I'm performing. You know, I am singing myself. I ain't singing for y'all. You know. But she, she enjoyed just sharing her gift. And, and when she pulled her mask off and did the same before, an audience of, I think, Tariqa was in there and came in for a moment. She sung as if she was at Carnegie Hall. And I just sat there and the amazed me. I said, wow. So it was a, one of the things that said, it was an honor for her to sing with us. But my brother Carvin wrote this song, and I kind of did the, the, the first one. But it was an honor to have Kubio sing. Oh, me. Your heart's too bad. Keep me protected from the danger I'm outside. Because I need you, Jesus, to love you so right. Keep it protected in love to do that. Help us in.
get through those days. And I'm just about finished. I'm glad you asked that question. Because the answer is found in the psalm next to it. Psalm 78, 14. It says as it recapitulates God delivering Israel out of Egypt. This verse says, in the daytime also he led them with a cloud. And all the night was a light of fire. will lead you in the daytime. Yes. God will lead you when you can see what's coming next. When you are aware of everything going on around you. I said God will lead you. But I want you to know that that same God is right there when the twist happens. And you can't see or make heads or tails of what's going on in your life. It can get dark sometimes. I wish I had somebody here that recognized that it can get dark sometimes. It can get so dark. I remember I was in Africa and I was in Nigeria and they had me go to this uh, college to speak and uh, my whole team uh, they, they went somewhere else, we won't go into that but uh, I was walking down and folk would just walk out, I said y'all need to light a match or do something <laughs> dog, <walking> <laughs> Unto me. 
In the day of trouble, I sought the Lord. My soul ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. You see, there is a comfort that comes from God. But you have to be willing to accept it. Hmm, sometimes when grief comes upon us, we fight the comfort of God. Because we don't want to be consoled. That's the reason I enjoy standing there with Sister Sharon today. Because as the castle was closing, she started speaking in tongues. She started saying hallelujah. Because God is right there. In the night season. You have to
Spirit, that they shall that they may rest from their labor, and their works do follow them. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you. And although we would have loved to have had her longer than 44, 45 years, we thank you for the 44 years. We all down the road. We just have one request, and that is you call him in birth. And as he promised, I promise. Tell them that 
that you love them. It's a terrible thing to do harm to them.
my cares away. He called me royalty because he's a king of kings. He said I could reign with him, with him in eternity. And ever since that day, I've been singing I, I love you with all of my heart. I love you from the very start. I love you with all of my soul. I love you. You promised that you love me unconditional And you would never let me go You told me that you'd take me to the promised land But I would never ever grow old You told me that he died for me on Calvary And by his stripes I am healed There's so much more that I can see But I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him Hey, y'all turn around right here. I got you. <laughs>
This truly is an amazing 